Hi there. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to run select query on Postgres database using your Python code. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to first install a library named as scicobg2. Okay, so type in pip install scicobg2 and make sure to install this. Once you install that, you'll be able to execute your Python code against PostgreSQL database, okay? Also make sure that you have your Postgres service running so that you'll be able to run your queries and able to get the database results, okay? So on Windows, it's in all programs, then PostgreSQL, then start PostgreSQL then. Next thing, open Visual Studio Code or any other editor and create one sample.py file within which we are going to write our code. So type in import scicorp g2. Then first thing we are going to create connection variable and then call for a scicorp g2 connect. Inside this, we are going to point it to database name, let's say test baby. Next thing, we are going to call for user variable. That will be basically Postgres as username. Password is, let's say, demo1234. Next thing, host is localhost. Next thing, port. So that goes for 5432 and that's it. Next thing after creating your connection object, you have to go for cursor, which will go through your database table. So use connection dot cursor. Okay. Make sure that you also execute the query using cursor dot execute. Okay, and here choose your SQL query, select star from, then the table name where you have your data. Next thing, go for rows as your another variable that will call for cursor dot fetch all method. Okay, then we are going to go through each row one by one. So for loop, row in rows. Okay, then print. We are going to check with ID first. So I'm gonna go for ID which is going to be in row zero, print name, I'm going to be in a row one, print age, row two, okay. And then I'm gonna add slash n, to separate the two entries, okay. So after that, simply use print db queries completed, and then simply close the connection. Okay. So what we did so far, we imported this psychobg2 driver, okay or you can see this Python library to connect with Postgres SQL database, okay? So you can call it a driver, considering it allows you to easily connect with the database, accepting all your database credentials using connection object, then creating cursor to creating this cursor object and then execute your SQL query and then fetching results from rows 
and then using for loop for rows to go through each row and printing row and column pair. Finally, closing your connection to your print DB queries completed message. Okay, so this is a very simple program. You can pause the video, go through this code. Okay, if you have already gone through all of this, let's just execute the code. Open the man prompt, type in Python and sample.py. Okay, and here you see my database first row first column then first row second column first row third column and so on with next rows and column okay and finally the message db query is completed is printed so you get the idea how to connect to postgres database and how to fetch the results from your database and then print it on console